Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Chapter 8 of Lucky Squire. So, the gang let's see what happens. Artia to see the aftermath of a great battle. The army of Atia had been thoroughly defeated by Humdrump's forces. I told y'all. It's not gonna work. What's going on with this glitchy dude? Artean guard stands no more. Humgrum's forces, the metal beasts. All too much, I wasn't strong enough. Lucky Squire, go defend the castle. Protect the queen. I'm gonna glitch again. <laughs> glitchy dude. Uh, yeah, before I do that, let's grab some stuff first. Let's attack the bushes. Yeah, you don't know what the bushes be hiding. Okay. Let's go save the queen, I guess. Okay, we need to find a portal so we can dispose of the tanks. I better get lost. Wow. Okay, look for a portal. Uh Cause these tanks, man, look mean. I don't want them to hit me. It's wreck and ruin. It won't stand. Someone has to stop these bullets. It's time for me to join the fight. Oh, she'd be learning. She was uh, she was training with the uh, Moonbeard. Let's go. Okay, I can't, uh, oh, are they gonna sh fire at me? We'll see, we'll have to see. Yeah, they will. Oh, damn. Oh, I need the portal. Portal, save me. Ha ha. Sorry guys, but I need to do something real quick. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. No. And maybe. Oh, you brought tanks. I don't care if this is unfair. You brought tanks to the beautiful Artia. So I don't care if you think this is unfair. Oh, fruit, fruits, dude! What happened to him? Oh no! Unk and his pigs. What have they done? What have they done? Who's this weirdo? Yeah. <laughs> oh, a mage. I am not a weirdo. I am Humgrum's loyal mage. He sent me to disintegrate you. And that is what I shall do now. Alright. Minigame. 
magic wielder. Guys, we won't be able to defeat this chap with a bonk on the head. No, a magic wielder can only be defeated by magic. Well, not necessarily. You can stab him in his butt. I suppose it's time. Oh, are we gonna play as her? Now it's time to play as her, but we haven't. Violet readied her wand. It was time to get magical. You go, girl. What? What to do now? Oh, it's one of those. Uh, okay. No time to, ooh, no time to think, just fire. Oh no. Ow. There you go. Ah, I want it to be in the middle. There you go. If I can get to the to the orange. Oh, I can't. I can't. It's fine, though. No, I can't. Easy work. You call yourself a mage. There you go. Ooh. Nope. I made a mistake. Fire. Dead. You got that damn right, Violet. That was too easy. Let's go. Violet was victorious. <sighs> and her former schoolmates quite flabbergasted. I am flabbergasted. That was amazing. You're a natural at this magic thing. Major respect. Picked up a few spells and charms here and there. Oh, so humble. You saved us from that creepy wizard. Your magic, it was magical. Oh, breathtaking, okay. I thought it was like your magic is magical? It was nothing, but listen, it's not safe for you to be around here. We've cleared out the town. You should be able to get out of here, okay? Get to safety. Yes, Violet. Thank you, Violet. Oh, now they're nice. Come on, let's go to the castle. Let's get to the castle. Whee! Oh, mysterious. We don't even know his name. The game doesn't even know his name. Ooh, such a magic battle I've never, I've never seen. Moonbeard's sorcery is even stronger than I'd heard. And soon, the main event. Jot versus Gr Humgrum. A clash. 
for the history books. Oh, bother. Lost it again. <laughs> yeah, you should. Glitch bird. All right, let's go. Let's go, gang. What kind of fire is this? Impressive moon beard, impressive. O obviously, I'm no match for your magical majesty. Of course, of course, you have always been. Oh, when when the bad guy speaks like that, you know he he he's planning something. He's plotting something. He's gonna do something. Snivelling little ta talentless grumble always in your shadow. I should have known my place. Should have never dared stand against my beloved younger brother. Oh! Magnificent Moonbeard. He's your brother? What what is this conversation they're having right now? There you go. This is what I was talking about. Every time they speak like that, there's something. Like they have something planned. I saw this coming. You didn't fool me, but I couldn't move because the game, this game goes. <laughs> going, oh, all right, all right, all right. And now Humgrump sat upon the Artian throne to claim his rightful role as the grand ruler of all of Mojo. No. No. Let's go back. He changed history. He changed it. But. That's, that was, oh, what's going on here? All right, game. Come on. Bring us back. Come on. Imagine, though, if the game was like. That's it. All right. That's That's the game. I mean, they're not going to do that, but imagine if they did. Oh, it's a completely different game now. Okay. We start over. But imagine, imagine if the game ended like that. Like, yeah, you didn't win. Oh, it's on the shelf. It's on the shelf. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent wizard named Humgrump. Lord Humgrump ruled the land of Mojo, overlooking all from his splendid palace. Is that the sequel? He was the ruler of Mojo because he was the greatest person who had ever lived in the land. And he knew what was best for Look at his people. face. Look at his smug face. Hmm, like... The loyal ones would be treated with great grace and fairness. And taxed at the very reasonable rate of 96%. What? The disloyal what? ones? What? Well, 
they would be put in their place. And that was a place which was many miles underground, and was known as... Prison. Deep Doom. Ooh. One such disloyal subject was the wretched Squire Jot, who found himself now imprisoned in a cell in the depths of Deep Doom, which was exactly where he belonged. A look at the, the drawing they, they drew on Grump the with a poop on his head. The vent, <gasps> inside which awaited a frightening and ultimately lonely death. The energy beam looked warm and enticing. Thanks for the help. Oh, it's all. Thank you. Pip. Well, you find you found me at the the right moment. Thank you. He's no longer with us. Is he dead? Or maybe they moved him somewhere. Couple of trips on the way here. They said they're taking all of your gear. So somewhere outside the book. It's supposed to be one more thing. The deep doom. But two things we may find are Violet and Thrash. Because I'm pretty sure they're in prison close by. Come on. I mean, honestly, if I was a bad guy, a bad guy. If I was like, oh, hello. If I was a bad guy, I probably wouldn't imprison them. I would just, you know, kill them. If I was, you know, an evil guy. Because, you know, why not? Just get rid of them. Just get rid of them. Um, Now there were two wretched fugitives. Not a great development. Torn each other and trying to get each other into trouble. Listen, these data centers. Uh, Oops, I can zip past them to Leave it to trusty sneaky pip. Alright. Ahead of the fugitives lay a data center stocked full of wonderful life affirming paperwork. And patrolled by highly competent guards. The traitorous rodent prepared to sneak through its corridors. A plan quite obviously doomed to hilarious failure. Oh, it's one of the... Oh.
I remember there's a game like this. I haven't played it. I forgot what's it called. How? How did you spot me? I thought you only you can only you can only see the you know when it lights up. Shit. Oh, you turn too fast. You're a jerk. Yeah, he turns too fast. I'll wait for the other guy to, to come around. Wait, not now, not now. See ya. Oh, more of this. More of this nonsense. The horrid little mouse had made it past the troops. And opened a vent to let his equally horrid associate through. This turn of events was... Not very pleasing. Oh, because uh, the narrator hate, hate, uh, is hating because, you know, you know who's the hero of the story <laughs> that we're playing is. You know who wrote it? <laughs> that jackass, Humgrum. That was exciting. Had a sneak, so made it through. Come on, let's press on. Oh dear, a complete and utter dead end. There was absolutely nothing to see over this way. <laughs> Bother. Oh, that's uh, Violet's uh, one. Grab it. Can I use it? I can say, I'm on a cadaver! Oh, we missed a lot. I mean, there are stuff that I didn't even purchase because point. It's a collectible and I missed some stuff. Better to put it into uh, upgrades.
Okay, so we grab her and then we go that way. Yeah, it's me. I can slap you and you'll see I'm real. Changing in, make things right, no change doesn't happen. It's important is what we do now. <laughs> Let's go. Take that. To we'll make better use of it. Find Thrash. Get the band back together. Now there were three of them. Could they not just sit still? Nuh uh. Another data center lay ahead of the treacherous trio. Cocky rodent prepared to sneak his way through again. With an air of smug arrogance that would no doubt be his undoing. Oh, I'll wait for him. Okay, okay, okay. Got it, got it. The controller messed up and turned me back. Oh my god. Oh, I can play with the directional pad. Oh, this is, uh, okay, now I follow that guy. Go back around, wait for the other guy to suppress it and then move. Okay, let's do it. Let him come back around. Not this guy. This guy.
Once again, the furry little nuisance had somehow made it through. And once again granted access to his chatted colleagues. This outcome was not great. And rather brought into question the competency of the guards and the effectiveness of their training curriculum. If one ran fast enough, one could definitely slip through the gaps of the wizard. Yeah, belt. sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, 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 okay. Cool. I don't have my stuff. Okay, let's find it. Hey, bookworm. Okay, okay. Damn. This dinosaur guard was a hoot. Happy birthday, we love you. Auntie Nevis and Uncle Manuel. can't even roll like okay I don't have my weapons but I can roll you don't need a power or a weapon to roll
Oh, damn. Oh, I'm doomed. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Where do we want to go? <laughs> oh damn, they, s they heard something. How did you see me? I thought your roots is not... Asshole. I was sneaking. More sneaking. Okay, what we want to do is go here. <laughs> oh, that could kill me. He can't, but the laser can. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay, good. Uh, oh no, I need to be in that. Oh, damn. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, oh, I'm dumb. I need to go. Oh no, I thought the, the, the box, the crate will protect me. But maybe if I'm here. Shit. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, 
I don't know why I was like, hey, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's just exit. something here or maybe that's where we were yeah when we s snuck up behind oh yes give me that what is it yeah they're gonna they're gonna die If I have the sword, I think I can hit, I can use it. Let's just go grab our sword first. My sword, I can see it. I can see it. You sneaky beetle. But, first, I need to see. I need to see. What? Pick up. Whoa. Yeah, so I can. Uh, okay, so they want me to come uh, to go back. I want to. I want to. I want to see what's in there. That's that's all I want to see. I'm pretty sure it's not part of the main progress, like the part of progression. But I want to see. Or maybe it is. Stop shooting. Stop.
Damn. Jump too early. Watch this. Whee yeah. Whee yeah. That's everything we need. <laughs> Throw it, you dumb, dumb little bitch. <laughs> Ow. What does that do? Where'd it go? Oh no, angry laser guy. Nope, drop down. Oh no. No, I keep forgetting, man. I keep forgetting that I cannot drop from a platform.
keep forgetting. <laughs> there you go. Oh no, little jump. Bleh. Oh my god, I wanna... <laughs> yeah, I should drop, I should uh, time it. I should time it. That was my bad. Okay, time it when it comes back. There you go. Just doing it fast. Oh, these beetles are mean, man. Parker and Sons. Oh, how, how to get back to the book? Oh, right, through the portal. I was, like, trying to find the book, but it's on the shelf. Up top. Far above the world. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't care, don't care. <laughs> Everybody got something to say, man. It's annoying. Um, let's stop this. Where's the portal? Stories over. The best book that has ever been written. The magnificent <laughs> Humcrum tells the tale of the most powerful and accomplished wizard that has ever lived. Experience the magnificent. The best book that has ever. <laughs> That's the uh, review by everyone. Uh, yeah, I thought it would have the. Uh, Portal was right here, right? Was it? <laughs> okay. 
can only tilt the book. Can't even like turn the page. Drop. There you go. Thank you. What's up, gang? It's colorful again. It's not on the shelf. Why does this sound like uh, an old old ass ringtone from like the early 2000 like Nokia phones and stuff That's all I wanted to know. Yellow key, the, the key in the yellow crate. Okay, uh, how to get here? Tilt it, but where is the uh, portal? There has to be a portal somewhere so we can tilt it and... Maybe?
I can't. I can. Look at that. See ya. When I saw the uh, the portal there, I was like, it has to be. Here was a diamond. Also the glorious leader, homegrown. Give me that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, you're mean. Like an eel. An eel blob. <laughs> That's why I wouldn't open. Three poor creatures. Let's just do this first and then... Uh, how to no, not what I wanted to do. I wonder why I couldn't bring platinum over. Not platinum, diamond.
He doesn't need anything. He can make music with anything, with a pipe. Banging on his pipe. No drumsticks needed. Let's get to it, nerds. them now this was really just too much <laughs> you look dumb. Thought you guys were gonna take care of them. Well, I'll take care of the archer.
Da, 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 da. Wait, there's something. There was something. Wait, 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 wait. Bet we can break that. I just want to see what's in there. Oh, and then we transfer it back. I want to see. Oh, yeah, one of those. Eh. I'll grab it. Because why not? We need to rearrange it somehow. How can we do that? Then can we push it? it here and that's it oh no let's block it from moving oh how can we block it from moving I want it to be here and all oh right. Mm, I'm dumb. Keep forgetting about the stop stamp. Uh. 
And maybe not here. We need it further back. So if I do this... The third data center lay ahead of the band of miscreants. Once again, the wretched rodent prepared to scuttle through. However, the guards would now certainly apprehend their prey, having recently undergone extensive training in their core competencies. Oh damn, this guy got binoculars. Well, what a great load of good all the guards training had done. <laughs> a 
Did a job all round stopping the wretched rodent from getting past and granting access to his chums. The troops would surely be commending each other for their flawless performance. From the bottom of the pit into which they would soon be banished. band of botherers emerged and laid their eyes upon their undoing. A very solid, very closed Now you put the door. portrait on that and it's, it's done. <laughs> Let's find the portal. Where's that? Oh, only when you tilt it. Okay. A very oh, solid, when you turn the very page. open iron door. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Somebody mooning. The fugitives made their traitorous ascent towards the surface. The elevator cable proving annoyingly reluctant to snap. And so they arrived at the surface. Ah, fresh air. And with uncomprehending awe in their traitorous eyes. They gazed upwards to see the monumentally majestic Palace of Humgrump. This dude is full of himself.
note. It's like a bookmark. <laughs> Young Humgrum fancied himself as a poet. Oh, butterfly, why do you fly? Nothing but a butter fly. Flitter, butter, flitter, butter. Butter flitter, butter flitter, butter, <laughs> butter, flu. Beautiful. He sent his poems to all the publishers in Mojo. But he was rejected by each and every That's the or origin one. story. That's the origin story he vowed right there. never to release another poem into the ungrateful world. His anguish would eventually transform into rage that would propel him towards his ultimate destiny. The symbol of his rejection would become the symbol of his vengeance against an unjust world. The symbol of the humble butterfly. Oh. That sucks. <laughs> to be honest with you, that's... It sucks. What a shitty origin story. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Scream, what have they done to you? So, finally, here you are. I have been observing you. What a journey you have been on. What challenges you have overcome. What fears you have confronted.
job. And yet, all your efforts have been for naught. You are under the impression that you might stop me or do me harm. But that is impossible, for I am unstoppable. You see, I, Humgrump, now control the book, and so control our reality. And one who controls the very fabric of reality cannot be stopped. I beg to differ. Zama whoop your ass. Time for Moonbeard to show up. There you go. Moonbeard. Mini beard. Thank you, Dumbledore. The little twerp humgrump zapped me. And vaporized me into a cloud of ink. 
or rather undignified, I must say. In my cloudy form, I floated wispily through the room until I finally landed upon a sheet of ultra-absorbent kitchen roll and, through a little magic, found myself reformed. The Mega Eagle. It seemed rather annoyed. Descending upon our heroes with a combative cry. Thrash twirled his drumsticks and got ready to rumble. done and get some sleep. important thing is the oh kind of panicked a little bit I was like the most important thing is the is the nut Thank <laughs> you. 
Violet readied her wand. It was time to get magical. I thought I can attack him with it. Blue, please. Honey Badger seemed rather annoyed. Jot prepared for a dust up. Dodged, I swear. <laughs> Ali Kuma, yeah. Come on.
Now this chapter is long. So eyes and tongue.
Oh no, oh no. Oh no, I wanna hide behind the, the ball. I dodged too early, that's how I died last time. Good. Okay, he's gonna put the shields up. Okay. Now I need to get that meteor thing. And not mess it up. Say no more, Rocket Man. That was a fun boss fight, but it took too long, to be honest. Should have been two phases, in my opinion. Is that the last chapter? Like, for real? He's dead? <laughs> Let's go, mini beard. 
And so, after battling Humgrump's remaining army, the forces of good reclaimed the land of Mojo and brought peace back to the land. Artia Castle was restored to its former glory. And the people of Mojo came from far and wide to gather at the town. Celebrating their freedom with a marvelous party. Taking a break from the revelry, Jot noticed something. I a know it. A figure standing near the entrance to the castle. He made his way over there to investigate. Tyson Tyson's celebrations. I came back to your time to watch you and your friends. Disappoint, so they won't go for them. Squire and his friends. I knew for it and himself. Now I've said what I needed to say. I've seen what I wanted to see. I must be going. Until we meet again, plucky squire. Somewhere in this in time in the time stream. The end. Okay, we got it done. I don't know if for some reason I thought, like, he wouldn't, like, uh, Humgrump would make it like a final comeback or something, because he died and he didn't say anything. And I was like, hmm. Well, he got, he was defeated and he didn't say anything. No, no dialogue, no nothing. It's like, oh, you bested me. Uh, there you go. That was the plucky squire. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I gotta get some sleep. But anyway, um, it was a fun game. You know, if you played it, cool. If you don't, it, like, you haven't missed anything. I like the puzzles and stuff. Uh, but yeah, anyway. It was a cool ride, anyway. Uh, so anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Anyway, peace!